scissors, magic marker, razor blade, piece of three quarter inch particle board. If you know your flooring in your trunk is clear of anything underneath wiring or gas tanks or what have you, you can bolt this to it. You don't have to do what I'm going to do. Pretty simple. We made the board with our template. We took our piece of paper, we measured it so it was slightly smaller than the safe itself. We then laid that on top of a piece of plywood particle board, cut it out. This way you don't have to drill in to your flooring. We're going to use silicone, pure silicone, you can use black or clear. We may use either. Not sure which one yet we want to use. If you want that safe to never come off this board, and I mean never, then get a tube of urethane. All right, now what we did was we laid our board over, figured out where we wanted it. Now you can up here on the upper deck that way, the upper deck up there, right here, you can mount it up in there if you want as well. We're going to put it here, this is where they want it. Put the board over it, we took our magic marker, traced around it, cut it out with a razor blade, pulled that piece out of there, don't need it. We cleaned this whole area up with lacquer thinner. We're going to glue this board down. You can use urethane if you want. You can actually bolt this down, bolt the safe to it, or bolt the safe right to the steel. If you know there's nothing underneath there that's going to be harmed by the bolts. We're going to glue this in because someday he may want to remove it. I don't know how he's going to do it because when I put it in here, it's going to be in there for good. If you know the strength of silicone glue, you know what's going to happen when I glue this down. Now you can take your board and paint it black. If your trunk is black, you can paint it black if you want. Paint all the edges. You don't have to paint the bottom or the top. Just paint it all up black so that it matches. If you have a piece of carbonite or some type of countertop and you want to use that, whatever you want here. We're doing this because he does not want any screws in his trunk. All right. Now that thing is already glued on there and I'm pulling up pretty good on it. And that isn't even dry. So we push it down evenly till you start to see the glue come out the edges a little bit. And like I said, I put quite a bit on there. Now I'm going to put some weight on it. If you have a small brick or two, you can put that on there. And we're going to let that set and then we'll mount the safe. Okay, we've got the board glued down. We let that set for a full day. With the weight on it, it sat for a full day. You cannot pull that board off. So let's uh, open the safe. Okay, your box may come with more than two holes in the bottom. We're going to go overkill on this a little bit and we're going to put more mounting holes in the safe, okay? Now we're going to use, anytime you're doing sheet metal, which is basically what this is, you use a step drill, all right? And that way it doesn't snag on you. So we're just going to put one right here, no particular uh, absolute location. If you have a 90 degree drill, you can get in there and put them in fairly easy. We're going to use a quarter inch air ratchet. All right guys and gals, we got her mounted. You can see the bolts we put in, screws. They're stainless steel. You don't have to have stainless steel. There's two in the back, back there, and we put this back in, and it covers them right up, and there you go. Shut it, lock it, and he's going to be happy. Can't open it, so let's try. 
There you go. 